Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Peppermint Crinkles. This is Anne. Today I'm going to do a very neutral tutorial and I really really love this. And the eyeshadow that I use is from my Wet n Wild Z palette. Mainly the Silent Treatment Trios. And this is the look. This is the close up. So, if you want to see how I did this look, then continue watching. So, I've already uh, primed my lids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Next, I'm going to take this Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Eyeshadow. And this is in. Glammy goes to and I've already applied that all over my lid and underneath on the lower lash line. Next I'm going to take from my Wet n Wild Z palette I'm going to take this silent treatment and I'm going to apply this marked brow bone right here using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and this will be on the two-thirds of my lid up to the crease and also underneath on the lower lash line. Next I'm going to take this Studio Tools crease brush from the Vanity palette I'm going to take this medium light brown right here and use this on the crease just to soften up the edges. Next I'm going to take another e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and from the Silent Treatment Trio I'm going to use this marked crease right here. And this will be on the outer corner, right here, and up to the crease, up to the center of the crease. And what's left of the brush, just put that on the outer corner all the way to the center. I'm going to take this from Coastal Sense IB119 Deluxe Crease and just blend this out and feather it a bit. And on the tip, just on the lower, just blend it out too. Next, I'm going to take this Crown Brush or Coastal Scents Divine Eyeshadow Large and I'm going to take from the Greed Palette. I'm going to use this light color like Brulee almost like the color brulee. I think that's brulee. And this will be as my highlight. Next I'm going to take this from Samantha Chapman's It's Real Techniques Accent Brush. From the Vanity Palette, I'm going to take this right here on the top, upper right, this shimmery gold right here. And this will be on the inner tear duct and inner corner of the eye. And this will be as my highlight right here. And then blend that out with, the thing, with your finger. And I'm going to take another bit here and put that on the top of your brows. And blend that too with your finger. Next I'm going to take this from Coastal Sets of Crown Brush. This is C431 Pro Blending Fluff. And going back to my silent treatment trio from Wet n Wild, I'm going to take this crease color again. And this will be as my eyeliner. Then what's left on the brush, I'm going to put that here. Then go back to your e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Going back to Silent Treatment, 
here marked Bravo just a little and put that on top of the lid again just like that next I'm going to take this Sush medium brush and Milani bronze doll on the tip of the brush this will be as my transition color in order to soften that edge on the crease color what we use on the silent treatment to soften it up next I'm going to take this Tony Molly perfect eyes eyeliner in tear beige and this will be on my waterline Next, I'm going to curl my lashes using my The Face Shop Eyelash Curler and apply my mascara using Avon Super Shock Mascara in black. And on top of that, it's the Etude House OMI Lash Top Coat. Then I will rejoin you with the finished look. Hi guys, so this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial and you like the look. So let me um, do a close-up for the eyes I do apologize for the light yeah. okay so these are the products I use for the rest of my face for my toner I'm using my Eskinol spotless white toner for my eye cream I use my Egyptian magic for my moisturizer, I'm using my Garnier Light Naturals Moisturizer. For my lips, I primed it with my Body Shop Setsuma Shimmer. For my face primer, I'm using Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer in number one even skin. For my foundation, I'm using my MAC Face and Body in C2. For my brows, I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash Clear Brow Gel and my e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. For my lids, I'm using my Rice Powder Company Concealer Stick in Yellow and my NYX Eyeshadow Base in White. For my cream highlight, I'm using my Gemma Kid Dewy Glow All Over Regions in Rose Gold. For my cream blush, I'm using my MAC Lady Blush. For my cream contour, I'm using my ELF Cream Blush in Temptress. For my under eye corrector, I'm using a mixture of NYX Concealer in a Jar and Orange, Rice Powder Company Concealer Stick and Ivory, Milani Secret Cover Concealer Cream in Warm Beige, and my CoverGirl Illuminator. 725. For my facial concealment, I'm using my Wet n Wild Cover All Concealer Stick in light. For my under eye concealer, I'm using my CoverGirl Olay Concealer Balm in Fair Light. To set my foundation and my cream products, I use my Rimmel Stay My Press Powder in Creamy Natural. To set my under eye corrector and concealer, I'm using a mixture of Everyday Mineral Sunlight Color Corrector and this Elianto Natural Mineral Highlight Powder. For my all over bronzer, I'm using my Jane All Free Bronzing Powder in Sun Kissed Bronze. For my powder contour, I'm using my Milani Powder Bronzer in Light. For my blush, I'm using my MAC mineralized blush in warmth of coral for my powder highlight I'm using my MAC extra dimension skin finish in whisper of guilt for my under eye brightener I'm using my Garnier BB eye roll on I set that with my elf tone correcting powder in warm And on my lips, I use this MAC Cream Sheen in Innocence Beware. And I know it's kind of sad already, but I just love it. And for my lip liner, I'm using my NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Citrine. 
I set my makeup with my Vanilla and Company Rich Hazel Beauty Tonic. And on my nails, guys, see, the base is e.l.f. Nail Polish in Mint Cream. And on top of that, it's Milani Gold Leaf. And that is it guys. Thank you very much for watching. God bless and bye-bye.